thing at Centric Care. So we're down at 9% positivity as of today on our antigen testing compared to 41% at peak, which was about a month and a half ago. A dramatic turnaround. It seems as fast as the Omicron variant spiked the numbers, it lost steam just as fast. We're still, again, cautiously optimistic at some of the results and the information we're getting back. County by county positivity from the latest seven-day average shows 9.4% in Orange County, 12.2% in Seminole, and 102 in both Volusia and Osceola. Better, but those rates are still either considered substantial or high. Luckily, our antibody infusion center has ample supply and they are providing that treatment to prevent people from having to go into the hospital. As the number of people in the hospital continue to steadily decline, that is certainly positive news. But we're reminded that there are still hundreds of people locally needing hospital care for COVID-19. Advent Health had 960 COVID patients a month ago, 280 now. Orlando Health went from 541 patients in late January to 165 now. Still, I've gotten looks when I walk into uh, grocery stores or businesses and I'm wearing my mask. Uh, we're, like I said, we're not out of the woods on this yet. Health experts say until we get positivity rates under 5%, mask and social distancing are still needed, especially for the unvaccinated. Lately, vaccines have become more popular. We're seeing uh, about 500 to 1,000 a week uh, that are getting brand new, first time ever, COVID vaccines. Harris suggests those just now getting the vaccine have had a close friend or family member get sick. Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. One